This is as far as I got last night. I'd set myself the task of getting all the pipe work done at the top, including that little heron bone that goes across the gateway up there, which will pick up hopefully some wet that gets in the gateway. I wanted to get down as far as the footpath here last night. That was my target for last night. Um, I'm not going to get an awful lot done today because in an hour, I'm going up to the Swan Hotel in Wooden to um, spend a bit of time with the chef up there and we're going to do something apparently with some of our beef. Uh, this morning I've been over to Rich Cornock and tomorrow morning you will see some of the fruits of my labours over there because I took the drone over and flew the drone out for him releasing his cattle onto the grass for the first time of the year. So they were very happy. Uh, but when I got back I did complete putting the pipes in. So I've got 110 mil solid pipe that will pick up all the drains and the gutter from this end of that barn and the drain in the yard comes down the solid pipe and then the black perforated four inch pipe will pick up any surface water off the field and I'm going to put, I've already put one herring bone out that way. I've got one, two, two or three more herring bones which is basically another trench going up that way. We've got a damp spot in the field there. We've got another damp spot in the field down there, and we've got another damp spot in the field over there. And it's one of those things where if I can mitigate those damp areas all year round, because come winter months, um, it gets so mucky and wet and messy up here. It's one of the reasons the cattle have to come in fairly early, because they just chew the place up. If I can keep this drier for longer, they can stay out longer and it also means that I can get a tractor or any vehicle they want down the field, hopefully, in the winter months because that gate there and that gate there are pretty much the two main access, access points into the farm and if they're continually wet, I, I can't get out here and do any work. So that's what this is about. I'm trying to stop all the water that comes down my drive and off the house and all up there. If I can catch all of that, get it underground and get it gone, the ground will be drier, the farm will be drier, the cattle can stay out longer, I can do more on the ground with the, for longer in the year. There's just so many reasons to do it. It's a lot of work and it won't be cheap, but I think it's going to be worth every penny. So, thank you. Project I've been wanting to do for years, and we could never quite just justify the cost. But now we've got a bit of extra income. This is where this is where what you do for me. This is where it goes. We're improving the farm, improving the land, improving the drainage, buildings, barns, stuff for the cattle. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was going to show you what I did with the pipe at the end of here because. Some of you might think it's a good idea, and some of you might think it's a waste of money, but I'll show you what I would. Okay, right. If you look in the trench, we've got two pipes, brown one and the black one. You see them? And then all of a sudden, two brown ones. Then you might say to yourself, why have you done that? Well, the reason I've done that is all around you, all these roots. Uh, there's a lot of tree roots, hedge roots, all that sort of stuff. Where this grain's been disturbed, roots are going to go down into the ground and they will block up that perforated pipe. In five, six years time, that pipe will be full of roots from the hedge. The tree's kind of on its last leg, so I don't think it's going to be there much longer anyway. Um, so to prevent that, We've actually sleeved the uh, perforated pipe about halfway down inside the solid pipe, so no roots are going to get into there. I do need to get in there and dig the ditch out. 
but the other reason is um, when I cut the hedges or do the ditches there's going to be quite a bit of traffic concentration just in this area here so it also helps uh, prevent compaction and the collapsing of that pipe out, out in the field out there any pressure on the ground is fleeting I'm driving over it whereas we tend to spend a bit more time in one spot so yeah to prevent pipes collapsing and to prevent roots getting into perforated pipe that is why that black perforated pipe is sleeved inside the 110 mil and it fits perfectly so we will stone all the way to the ditch so anything that escapes the black pipe can still percolate and flow down and drain it that way but yeah if we get a lot of water it will go down the 110 mil there you go some of you will say waste of money some of you will say good idea <coughs> I think it's a good idea and worth the 17 quid extra for the bit of pipe so that's what one of these uh, lengths costs uh, 17 pound a piece and there's a lot of them in there basically that pipe's going to go from the ditch right up into the middle of our main yard yeah a lot of them right I've got half an hour I could put a bit of stone in or I could just wait until I get back this afternoon I've set myself the task of finishing this project off having it all covered over by the end of the holiday weekend I am 80% of the way there it's more than doable I might even get a couple of days off-ish you know what, that's 25 degrees. I thought it was getting warm down there. 25 degrees outside. Right, it's 1.38. I promised Samantha, because she seems to be organizing this with uh, Chef, that I'd be there for two o'clock. So I'll be there for two o'clock. Actually, I'll go that way. Next stop, Swan Hotel. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, uh. I don't want to talk. So it's, it's ten past two, and how long have you been out of bed? About an hour. And Why did I get out of bed? I've been up for an hour. I've right. been out of bed at like half past. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is Samantha's morning face. Two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. yeah. So this is, what is this? Is this the bar? Mm -hmm. The bar. So I quite like that up there. Mm -hmm. In wine there is wisdom, in beer there is freedom, in water, there is bacteria. Benjamin Franklin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why most of us haven't got COVID. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> don't drink, you don't drink water. We don't drink right, so we're just waiting for Matt the chef to um, get ready for us in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And then we're going in the kitchen to do stuff. Wait, with... you are. I'm just going to be in the background. Are you? Yeah. What, I'm propped like... in the corner, yeah, sno snoozing. I'll, like, I'll be in the background just being like. <laughs> Shh. All right, will you enjoy your, what's that? This, oh, we got a new Thatcher's. Um, uh, this is lemon Thatcher's. So it's lemon like, cider. Yeah, it's like a, it, when you pull the pint, it releases a shot of syrup. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like, you know if you ask for like a cider and black, cider with a shot of black currant, All right. it does it for you. All right, and you said so it's dangerous. It's dangerous because it's, it's quite drinkable. And very alcoholic, mm. or a bit alcoholic. Four point something percent? No, it's not that bad then. It's not that, just not terrible. No, until you have like five or six points of it. Yeah, and then you're like, woo! <laughs> it's like drinking lemonade. Woo, Dougie! Yeah, woo, Dougie! <laughs> okay. Oh, it's even a new restaurant. Oh, eh? no! <laughs> this is the new restaurant. Mm hmm. Does it look good? I like that, yeah, it's nice. It's nice, isn't it? That's not the other fire that you can't get lit, is it? No, that's not got a chimney yet. They need to like sort out the chimney for that. Oh, right, okay. Fire. I like that. These beams are the original beams. Yeah. Which is why they're still here. But they're holding the place up. You can't yeah. be taken down, can you? No. No. All right, are we going through there? I, I don't know. I'll go through first. All right. Do you want it here? Yeah, yeah. Come on, he's filming, by the way. Yeah. Right. I'm just getting a new jacket in that second. A new jacket? A new chap jacket. Oh, right. I, I got all clean. That's right. I, well, so. I didn't know I was supposed to dress up. So what up. I'm going to do, so. obviously, is I'm going to do... That's the brisket. Yeah. Let me get my video. I'll show you what I've got so far. 
brisket, steak, mince. I think that's going to be probably your favourite. It's going to be the brisket. Is it? The way it's been done. Yeah. So I've got it here. So I've got a nice picture of it and covering the bugs up. Is that yeah. the brisket before? Yeah. This was it coming out of its liquid. Mmm. After 10 hours. 10 hours? Yeah. Oh, that's going to be cooked then. Nice and slow. Because all that. I didn't have any dinner today, just in case. Oh, no, no, yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah. And also, I did on a Sunday, because I like the way the red wine was with it. Yeah, yeah. That's the silver side. All right, okay. So I roasted that on the Sunday, and we ate it in the sun. I got a funny feeling like that. Did I have a piece of that? Yeah, I think you did. Is that yeah. what you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I came in to see how it was going, and yeah, I yeah. she came out she bought me this plate with a slice of that and a Yorkshire pudding and a potato. Yeah, nice. And a bit of gravy. Like a bit of gravy. Oh, that's great then, as long as you've yeah. had that. Yeah. yeah, that was nice. That yeah. was fantastic, that. Yeah. That was like 40 minutes that it took to cook. That's yeah. It. Okay. It's done. I've got some rump steak and I've got your burger mix there. Right. I haven't got any kind of so what I'll do is... So is it just mince me, is it? That's it. And I've got my mix that I put in there, there. Right. So I'll mix in some pictures and so you can film it and see what you're mixing. Yeah, okay. So I'll seal these off. I'll plate the burger. Yeah. Plate the steak the way I do it. Yeah. And the brisket and the salami. Yeah. Alright. I'll just get changed. Okay. <laughs> I'm not looking off so the what, what, so what, what are you going to do first? So, first of all, I'm going to put the brisket on. Yeah. Put that on. So, basically, part of my dish is there. So, I've got a boiling on sauce to go on. Right. Put that in there. And the starters on. I put the bubble and squeak in the oven. Oh, bubble squeak. So this is brisket, this was cooked for 10 hours. Yeah. Then I rolled it, pressed it. Right. And all I'm going to do now is seal that nice and crispy in the oven. Right. And render all the fat out of it. Well, not all the fat, because you've got to leave a bit of fat yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, then obviously this is, my, this is the mince that you gave me. Yeah. Which is looking amazing. And then this is our secret burger mix. Secret burger mix. I don't tell anyone what I put in my burger. It's got stuff in it. Just stuff. It's got stuff, stuff in it. Tins. Yeah. Stuff from tins. Stuff in tins. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. not, not stuff from tins. But no, stuff no, in no. Yeah. 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 But give that a good mix. And then an eight ounce burger by accuracy. Yeah. Around a big tight handful. Okay. So that would say. That unless you unless you got my hands, I got little hands. Yeah, I got little hands. Oh, as well. yeah. All right. Okay. So it's all right. Then that will be there. Slight bit of oil there, and that's going to go into our grill and bake and our rationale. That gets pressed on. Yeah. And I'll be left over. Well, that already smells lovely. Yeah. That already smells lovely. Good. Um, so the next one. And there is the steaks. And the steaks, always the best. So I've got it out, put it out to a nice bit of room temperature. Yeah. Only a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper. Right. Because the beef is so good itself, it doesn't really need it. Yeah. So, Mind you, I've got a habit of ruining beef with horseradish. Yeah. Well, got you, a bit. I do like horseradish, so. Yeah. Do the same with this. And this goes onto my grill plate as well. That's an impressive oven. Or whatever you call it. The rationale oven is 20% more effective than a normal oven. Yeah. So that's why you're using a cake when I'm faster than any other place So while that's cooking, Finish. Yeah, apparently Samantha hasn't eaten today, so she's, no. she's kind of anticipating. Over there. You're right in there, <laughs> hiding around the corner. So obviously, the new oven buns, nicely toasted. Yeah. Use a nice tiger burger back, which is nice. Got flavor and taste to it. <coughs> just try this to say. You can't hide. You can't. You can't hide in there. You can't hide in there. <laughs> We're just watching. Oh yeah. All right. Okay. Well, all, all I'm doing is I'm holding this thing and listening to it. <laughs> Comic relief. Yeah. This is the big kitchen. The big main kitchen. Yeah. It's a bit of a mess in here. 
Well, that's the end of a ship, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So that's a nice roast of vine tomatoes. Some black mushroom cooked with garlic thyme. Ooh. As you can see now, it's another little left It's all starting to cook through in there nicely. Lovely. And that'll usually take about eight minutes. Really? Yeah. Get it cooked and hot and ready to go. Well, I suppose you need that. You've got customers in there tramping at the bit, waiting yeah, for it, waiting and they, for it. they want their grub, so. And then, next part of that, just to put it all together, really. Well, our own swan relish there, made from scratch as well. The swan relish? Yeah. There's no actual swan in the relish, is no, there? Only a little bit. Is it? Just a bit of beak. You ask Her Majesty if she could have a bit of her swan. Uh, well, she doesn't know. <laughs> we won't tell her that. Yeah, that's the basic burger bun. Um, garnish. Yeah. Uh, Sweet garnish. Minus a bit of cold. Cream. You don't project enough. I can do if I need to. What? Project enough? Project. Yeah, you just need to project louder. Hello. Hello. Oh, there you go. Just say beef. Just, just, say, just say beef. 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 Okay. <laughs> that's a chip, that is. Chunky chip. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a chunky. chip. Yeah. Onion rings. Yeah. Tommy tartos. Mushroom. You see where you get what from? Nothing. I do that all the time. I think my daughter's being rude about me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Oh, that smells. Yeah. Oh, that smells. Smells yummy. That's rum, is it? That's it. That's the rum steak. Yeah. Yeah. Smells absolutely amazing. One cooked a little bit more than the other, so it's nice. I can't cook it too much. The last steak I did myself was blue. I can eat rare. No, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing. Yeah. And then the juice is all rest out nicely. And then That's my problem. I can never. Um, I'm too impatient. So. It's always good to rush the steaks. Is it? Let the meat relax, let it enjoy. Right there. A bourguignon sauce. A bourguignon sauce. Yeah, so smoked bacon, mushroom, and baby onion. Ooh. Oh. You can toffee. Come on. <laughs> you ain't gonna have room for a sticky toffee. <laughs> <laughs> We like, we like, we like the juice. Right. Yeah. That's as far as you're getting. You're getting a sniff of it, and that's it. Yeah. And then obviously, coming into presentation wise for us down here, this is one of our favourite dishes at the moment, the most popular. This is the brisket, the bubble and squeak. Yeah. And then the bourbon sauce. My my theory is it's like a nice homely hearty dish. Reminds me of growing up as a kid. Yeah. And that's why I like to keep it all. Uh, obviously the 10 hour cooked brisket that we've had, and then come out of the oven, nice and seared. There it is there, so you see all the juices still coming out of it. Yeah. I've got two pieces just in case. People are going to be watching this, it. and they're going to be licking the TV screens. I know, yeah. Yeah, they're going to be licking your yeah, yeah. Well, you can lick the TV screens. Oh, you can lick the TV screens. Nicely on top. Yeah. And then what we do with that. Oh, that smells. That smells lovely, isn't it? I'm going to make you see how your meat can be used. Not sure if I like your. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, if you want to rephrase that. Yeah. Well, you can do it with any beef, it's I mean, just that Dexter beef, beef is special. Any beef, but just something special. Yeah. And this sauce here is made from the reduction of the brisket. Okay. It was cooked for 10 hours. Yeah. Add in some red currant jelly, rosemary, thyme. Oh, bring it right the way down so when the juice is thicken. Yeah. Basically, it turns it into a nice jus. And then that, just finish it off with a nice garnish in here. Some pea shoots. It's the first cut dish. Look at that. Now it's on a nice rest. Get them on the plate. Down here we'll serve that with some roasted cherry vine tomatoes. Nice big fat mushroom. Three 
Punch on your knees. That's not a normal portion size, is it? The steak's a little bit bigger. Yeah. I've got one of the two pieces for us all to eat. Yeah. But three onion rings, a flat mushroom, and the tomatoes is always the same. Is it? Oh, okay. The same. And chunky chips are always the same as well. Chunky chips. Okay. And that is a nice steak dish now. Nice right. and simple. <laughs> Just to top us off today, we've got some of these lovely juices. Oh yeah, keep the juice. Right. Yeah, don't waste nothing. And then for the final, I'm just going to grab some cheese now. You're so hungry! <laughs> Starvation's kicking yeah. in right now. Well, no, it's just... Even, the, even my mouth is salivating. It's just the right smell now. of it, isn't it? It's just that. So then what I do then is finish the oven with yeah. a nice grated cheese on top. And that's the beef burger there. Oh, I didn't notice it. That thing moving. Because of the, uh, the final Oh, is it right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, a cheesy burger. Yummy. And normally we get straight bacon with our burgers as well. Because it's tasting this beef today, we're not going to do it. We don't want to ruin the beef. We're ruin the beef, yeah. We're going to keep it as it is. Oh, oh, oh. I might need some milk with this. <laughs> <laughs> you look so hungry. <laughs> I can smell it all actually. I know, it looks amazing. There we go. Some beautiful burger itself. That is a burger, isn't it? Out. Eight ounces of pure Dexter beef. Oh, Nicely opened, nice look and at pink. That. See, I don't know which bit I want first. <laughs> well, that Lovely. Is. Right then. Fantastic. Only one thing left to do now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll film you guys doing that. Oh, can't forget the most important thing. There we go. My out, my drink. Look at that. Come on, sit down. Sit down. <laughs> you know you want yeah, to. Yeah, you know you want to. <laughs> yeah. See, the only thing is, unfortunately, you ladies look back at your head. What shame? Oh, what terrible. You're not camera shy, are you? <laughs> Still camera. Yeah. Still camera. I'll, I'll edit the bit so you, you know, feeling poor. <laughs> well, we need another plate, don't we? Do you like a piece of burger over there? Yes, please. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Well, that radish is good. I like usually have radish in my burgers. You know? I'm not a massive radish fan. Good. I'm going to have a price. Yeah, it's just good in that. Amazing. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I agree. <laughs> burger. Mm. What did you do? Take the middle out of it. Mm. It's good. Oh, a lot of flavour in that, isn't there? So much flavour. I'm not just. No, it's. It's totally different. When they say Angus is the best, it's definitely not. Without a doubt. <laughs> mm. You don't even have to chew. Well, no. well, you do a bit, but it's... Um, like, it's just like, melt. We have a little sample of this your burger, so... Mm. It's good. That is good. Really good. Mm. Oh. Mm. 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 That one there is going to be the one to... Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> I'm just... What? I'll be eating at home more often, aren't you? <laughs> well, you know what it is and where it's come yeah. from, it's even better, isn't it? So that's a bit of brisket. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going in for a bit more of that bit, Yeah? Yeah, that bit, right there. Mm. The steak is awesome, isn't it? No, it's good. I mean, I, I'm a sirloin. I love sirloin. But that's cooked well. That's lovely. Mm. There you go. Do some food stuff quickly whilst it's like that. Do some food stuff. Mm. Don't worry, you're not in it. Okay. It's literally just them yeah. two. Mm. This is really nice. Secret recipe. I don't share with anyone. No. You've got to have you a bit of mystery, haven't you? Yeah, of course.
I'm not savvy to that kind of information. Of course not. You're not important enough. No, it's definitely not. Nobody knows anymore. Well, the thing is, keep them guessing. Well, that's it. You haven't had a bit of burger yet, have you? No, that's it. That mm. is good relish, though. Yeah. And I never have relish on my burger. I want to eat chips, but oh, I kind God. of... Don't want to fill up. Bubbles, you like bubbles, squeeze, don't bubbles you? I love bubbles, Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. It's nice to see you finished products of what you do, isn't it? Mm. You know, with the beef. Well, it's nice to see it cooked. Properly. Properly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> was that a good choice of words there? Yeah. Properly, yeah. No, I'm just being very gentle, so... <laughs> My wife cooks beef. Don't, oh, she'll watch this. In a slow cooker. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's lovely. But it's... Not professional. This has got TLC added to it. Mm. Whereas Julie doesn't eat beef. She doesn't eat red meat at all. No. So for her, she, she wouldn't <laughs> taste it and know... Whereas for me, I kind of... It's putting, the end, it's putting all the end pieces together, mm. you know. Working with beef as much as I have. Mm. Thousands and thousands of pounds worth of it over weeks. You know, power shed, Bristol, everywhere like that. Mm. You know, they're closed. But it's just, it's amazing what you learn, like, from what, from what you can pick up. I eat steak every day for breakfast there. Really? Try it, because make sure it was good enough to serve. A bit more burger. Mm, no, I'm... What have you got there? Burger. <laughs> burger? Mm. Oh, you got burger? <laughs> yeah. Everything. Mm. Brisket's nice. And brisket's amazing. And the Yorkshire, and that's the Yorkshire pudding. Duh. Duh. My housemate cooked some of the brisket you gave us mm -hmm. in a slow cooker. And it was so good that when I came back, though, she put it all in a tub because she cooked the whole thing and there was enough there for like five people. Right. So I, but I made, I, I don't think it's an invention, but it was awesome. I literally got like two big slabs of bread. Lathered it in butter, lettuce, brisket, and a bit of mayo. Oh, God. That's it. <laughs> I was... The beef is so good itself. Yeah, it it's so good. It, doesn't need, it didn't need a lot Even of sauce. When, we were, when it was cooking in the oven, wasn't it? It was just the smell. Mm. Something amazing. else. Cooking yeah. the brisket mm. for 10 hours, I could smell it all through the hotel. It was fantastic. Like, just out of this world. Wake up in the morning and you can smell That's it. That's weird, it? Overnight, yeah. you know? Mm. And you know that this beef is coming from literally less than a mile away down I'm the road. i eat a chip. Ooh! <laughs> Mm. You don't even need sauce though. And that's naturally so tasty, yeah. really. Because usually when I eat out, I usually ask for ketchup and mayo or whatever, but this, I don't need, don't need the sauce. Devil from. I know, when she was younger, everything was covered in tomato ketchup. Mm -hmm. It didn't exactly matter what it was. Mm -hmm. Covered in it. I've got better. You wouldn't eat pizza with ketchup, would you? No. <laughs> Even though it's already got tomato yeah. sauce on it. No. Anything? Wow. Do you remember what I used to do with roast? <laughs> Tell me yeah. you didn't, Sam. Yeah. Anything? <laughs> I, used to, I used to have not gravy on it. Salad cream, wasn't it? And salad, salad cream, cream with my roast. I don't do it now. My friend used to have salad cream and gravy. Oh, no, I couldn't do that. Not with gravy. Ketchup and gravy's okay because you can have it with pie. I don't do it anymore. This is when I was younger. <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> right. So you've had your mouthful of free burger. Yeah. <laughs> and my granddaughter's had her mouthful of free burger. Yeah, bye bye. Huh? Oh, no, I'll be there in a minute. Yeah. I'm coming, I'll be there in a minute. Come on. Right, see you in a minute. You. Well, that was delicious. So, so we didn't get through many of the chips because I was more interested in the, well, the meat, the meat yeah, stuff. So, but, um, Thank you. No, it's good. That was lovely. Really enjoyed it, yeah. So, uh, it's a great pleasure to work with you. It's yeah. Amazing. So, and we just mentioned that um, this is the only place in the town that you can actually get food throughout the entire afternoon and evening. Yeah. So, no break in whereas, whereas everybody else is closed. So if you come to Wooten, three o'clock in the afternoon and you're hungry, there is somewhere you can go for a decent Sunday lunch. Or Wednesday Which lunch, or yeah. thir Monday Thursday, lunch, Thursday lunch. lunch. Every day that we go. Yeah, or even tipping, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. So, yeah, so that, was, that was lovely. Looks so much better now. <laughs> You're tapping my camera. No. Yeah. I just because I can't see the screen. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, right. So, Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. So, right. Okay, time to go on and um, put more pipes in trenches. Thanks, Farmer. Thanks, Chef. Cheers. Yeah. I'm coming there for a nap now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never earned a nap. So. Right, thank you. Okay. <laughs> You're hiding something in there. Mm hmm. Eh? Talk to Lola. Yeah. Baby Lola. Baby Lola. Hop in there. Yeah.
Even though it like, popped here as well and popped here. Is it? Did you want another drink? No. Yeah. Michael. Michael. Sorry. Right, I'm going to go home and lay some more pipe. Okay. But no, hey. <laughs> so, right, I'll see you guys later on. All right, bye bye. 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 We had our own cinema. Oh, it's got warmer. Right, well that was that was absolute. I mean I'm not I'm not singing my own praises and I'm not blowing my own trumpet, but that was absolutely beautiful the way that beef was pre uh, presented and cooked. So we had rump steak, which was outstanding. Uh, the burger with uh, Matt's secret sauce or secret relish. And um, the rolled brisket on the bubble and squeak, which was also outstanding. So we didn't end up eating many of the chips because um, I was more interested in the beef. Um, the chips were good, though. I did have a couple. I will say the chips are good. Uh, we were gonna maybe give you a little tour around the hotel and show you some of the rooms and. Uh, Bars and that, but uh, it was change over time and they were expecting guests in so rather than wander around rooms um, as folks were arriving if you're interested I'll take you back up and probably what I'll do is I'll give the camera to Samantha and she can take you for a guided tour around the squad where she works and show you some of the rooms I mean the rooms are really nice it is proper old country English hotel with well go on their web page so I'll, um, I'll put a link in the description below and you can have a look but um, yeah Matt made a really nice job of that so <coughs> that was good I didn't want to eat too much because I do actually know have to go home and get in and out of trenches again Maybe I'll have a half an hour sit down first. It's only half past three. <laughs>